I just want to do two more problems with you. Solving in the interval from 0 to 2 pi and an example of multiple angles. So multiple angles means that our angle is multiplied by 1 half, by 3, by 2, by 4. And this one's going to be the square root of 2 over 2. So the cosine of 4x is equal to the square root of 2 over 2. I'm going to ask myself, what quadrants are my angles going to be that are going to give me a positive ratio for cosine? Well, that's going to be quadrants 1 and quadrants 4. Then I'm going to go a step further and say, what does that angle need to be? That angle needs to be pi over 4 or 7 pi over 4. Seven pi over four. So I'm going to write my answer as four x equals pi over four plus every coterminal angle, and four x can also equal seven pi over four plus every coterminal angle. The reason I'm going to first find all solutions. is because that multiple angle is going to give us a lot of answers. And those many, many answers are only going to be able to be found if we can find all the coterminal angles first, then use some algebra to find the specific angles between 0 and 2 pi. I'll show you what I mean. I multiply each term by 1 fourth. And x is going to equal pi over 16 plus 2n pi over 4. Let's do the other one as well. We'll multiply each term by 1 fourth, which is going to give us x equals 7 pi over 16. Okay, well, they're both over 16, plus 2n pi over 4. Now, the one on the left, I'm going to get a common denominator. So I have x equals pi over 16 plus 8n pi over 16. And I'm going to do the same thing with the one on the right. x is going to equal 7 pi over 16 plus 8n pi over 16. Now I want the solutions between 0 and 2 pi. So I need the solutions between 0 and 32 pi over 16. 0 and 32 pi over 16. So I'm going to recall that n is an integer. And I'm going to start with n equals 0 then n equals 1, then n equals 2, and I'm going to keep going until I exceed 2 pi, and then I know that I'm done. So when I put a 0 in, pi over 16 plus 0 pi over 16 is pi over 16. When I put a 1 in, I get 8 times 1 times pi is 8 pi over 16. So when I add 8 pi over 16, to the 1 pi over 16, I'm going to get 9 pi over 16. And when I add another 8 pi over 16, I get 17 pi over 16. And when I add another 8, I get 25 pi over 16. And when I add another 8, I exceed 32 pi over 16 because I get 33 pi over 16. Now I'm going to do the same thing with 7 pi over 16. 7 pi over 16 plus 0 is 7 pi over 16. Then I'm going to add 8 to my numerator, and I get 15 pi over 16. Then I add 8 again, and I get 23 pi over 16. And I add 8 one more time, and I get 31 pi over 16. If I add 8 again, I exceed 32 pi over 16. So here are all of my solutions. 
let's do another problem just like that. We're going to have the sine of 3x is equal to the square root of 2 over 2. I'm going to determine that positive ratios for sine are going to be in quadrants 1 and 2. And we'll make this a pi, it, we're not going to make it a pi over 4 angle again. It is a pi over 4 angle again. So this time it's pi over 4 and all the coterminal angles. So the angle 3x has to equal pi over 4 plus 2n pi and 3 pi over 4 plus 2n pi. We're going to solve for x by multiplying each term by 1 third. I'll do that in both equations. That's going to give us x equals pi over 12 plus 2n pi over 3. And that's going to give us 8n pi over 12. And here we'll have x equals 3 pi over 12 plus, again, 8n pi over 12 because we already know that 2n pi over 3 is going to become 8n pi over 12. And now I'm going to start by putting a 0 in. We're going to work with this one on the left. We'll make that blue. I'm going to put is I'm going to add 0 8 pi, then I'm going to add another 8 pi and then an 8 pi an 8 pi and then a 16 pi and you just keep adding 8 pi. So we have pi over 12 plus 8 pi over 12 gives us 9 pi over 12. We'll reduce that in a minute. Then we're going to add another 8, which is going to give us 17 pi over 12. We don't have to reduce that. And then we have another 8, and if we're not careful, we just keep doing this, and we say, when do we stop? Well, between 0 and 2 pi. So 2 pi, in this case, is going to be 24 pi over 12. If we add 8 and get 25 pi over 12, we've exceeded 2 pi. So we'll stop right there. Now we're at the next one right here. We've got 3 pi over 12, which we'll come back and reduce. And then we'll add 8, which gives us 11 pi over 12. And we add 8 one more time, and we get 19 pi over 12. If we were to add 8 one more time to that numerator, we would get exceed 24 pi over 12. Therefore, our answer is pi over 12. Reduce the numerator and the denominator by 3, and we get 3 pi over 4. 17 pi over 12 doesn't reduce. 3 pi over 12 reduces to pi over 4. 11 pi over 12 does not reduce, and neither does 19 pi over 12. There is our answer.